here. Today I want to show you how to do a skull and I'm going to base it on this really cool artist. She was called Georgia O'Keeffe. She was American and she was born in 1887 and died in 1986. So she was known for doing enlarged flowers and landscapes of New Mexico and New York. And her pictures are really, really cool. Like the, I love the fact that she's got a flower and she's enlarged it. So if you can, maybe write that on the back of your paper. It's just really nice to know that when you do a piece of artwork, it's based on something else. And then it kind of makes you think, oh, okay, she's used those colours, so I could use those colours. So just write that down. So it's Georgia O'Keeffe, American, 1887-1986. Pause the video if you need to. I'm going to show you some of her work. She was really cool at doing so their paintings, and this is like an enlarged piece of a shell. I think it goes this way. And this one's a really cool tree. How cool is that? And then this one is an enlarged piece of a flower. The fly there. <laughs> I love the colours on that one. This one is the leaves. So you know, if it's autumn coming soon, you could go out and pick up some leaves, pick up some plants, and you could have a go at color, like drawing and coloring them in, in a big scale. So if you've got like a leaf or a stone, you can do it huge and just try and put all the detail in there. I really like this one. It's just so simple. It reminds me of fire, but it's blue. And then you've got the poppy. So anything that you draw, you can just make enlarged. So today we're going to do a skull. I know they're really popular. I've been asked to do skulls so many times. So we're going to give it a go. We're going to give it a go. So you just need paper that's poor, landscape, landscape, so this way. Then you need a pencil. Let's go. So first you want to think about where the skull is. It's going to be like a buffalo skull. So we're going to have big horns there and there. So you want to do the first thing in the middle. So what we're going to do is do a rainbow. Do you see where I've done the rainbow? It's kind of in the middle of the paper, not too high, not too far away. So it's in the middle. Then you're just going to go a little bit like, it reminds me of a carrot. Just draw a carrot shape. I love carrots at the moment, especially the ones that are raw. I don't really like cooked carrots but they're so good for you okay so then just do like a jelly jelly tot like a midget gem or a jelly tot on top of this then what we're going to do is each side of the jelly tot we're going to do the horns so we're going to just go into there and you're going to touch this bit so into here go like this the other side's exactly the same so you can just float across Go like that. So what you've got is what looks like, I think, a carrot with a jelly bean or a midget gem and two little lines, like two little arms going. Aah. So all you need to do now is make these into horns. So touch this bit here and you're going to do this. You're going to go. Aah. So you go up and the pointy bit's a horn. So you're going to go. Aah. Then stop down, twirly, in, then from here you're going to go, whoa, so if you can't do that just take your time, as long as you've got curly bits is fine because they're horns so it's okay if it looks a little bit strange and then we're going to go like this, Aww. and then we're going to join it up to here. So this is one cool horn. Then when we get to this bit, we're gonna go, ah. Right, we wanna do the same on the other side, but we don't have to do it exactly symmetrical. So we're gonna take this bit here, and we're gonna go, ah. Down. Across. Down. Do this slowly and pause if you need to. And then you're gonna go, like you did with the other one. So think about you're doing a round bit. It's okay if it's bigger than this one, it doesn't matter. Then you're gonna go, and then back to this bit. And then do you remember what we did? 
we did a bit like that. So that's what you need for now. That's pretty much all of it, but now we're going to put the detail in to make it look more like a horn. So what we're going to do is here, we're going to do some lines just to make it look more like it's a, a horn. And here, we're going to do like a wobbly line. So wobbly line, wobbly line there, possibly wobbly line there. So what I've just done is lines there. Then on top of the midget gem, I've done a wobbly line. Then under the rainbow, I've done a wobbly line. And then I've done another wobbly line. So there's quite a few wobbly lines. But what we're going to do is get your rubber. So get your eraser. I can't open it. Okay, we're going to get the eraser and we're going to rub out this line. We do not need this line anymore. So rub that line out. It's this line in case you're wondering. Then on the top we do not need the midget gem circle bit. So rub that out. Rub rub rub. Then whatever's in the horn with those lines rub that out. This is pretty much all you need for the top bit. So what you're left with is a wobbly line that reminds me of it. Reminds me of um, a jelly, actually. Love jelly. So now we've got to make it look more like a horn. So what we have to do is like a more like a skull. So we're going to touch here and go out. Touch here, go out. And we're going to do the eyes because, like, because it's obviously a skull. It won't have the eyes in there, but you've got the the bone structure. So you're going to go down, down. I did this actually on a tattoo studio wall and it looked cool and I really enjoyed doing it. So I thought, let's do our little version of it. So then we're going to go, so you've got out, out, down, down. Then you're going to go back. Then you're going to go back. Then from here, you're going to go like this. So can you see, I've done half of it. It's okay if they're not completely symmetrical, it doesn't matter. And then just down like this, down like that. Ooh. Right, okay, all you need to do is rub out the throbble, rub out all this. Because the good thing about doing a guideline is you can just rub it all out and it makes more sense once you've rubbed it out. I love guidelines. Okay, so you've rubbed it out. That is the basic uh, shape of the skull, very, very basic. Then what we want to do is we want to do the eyes. So what I want to do is just here, we're going to go kind of like draw these type of shapes because it's the holes of the eye. Then we're going to do like two little bits there. I want to do a crack line there. Then we're going to do really subtly, you could just like, don't, it doesn't have to look like much. But it's just like a little, like a, it reminds me of a crispy line, I don't know why I say crispy, but it's like a dotted line almost. Then you want to go, and this bit at the bottom is quite important, because we're going to do, it looks like a heart, so do a little heart. And then at the bottom, you've got a heart. So it's a little bit squiggly, that one, hang on. Do you know what, I might do that bigger so you can see it. Because ultimately, it's got to be like, um, it's got to be like this. So you've got your horn, like you've got your bit that comes down. you kind of got to do that, and then it goes like that. So if you can try and get it like that, that would be cool. I haven't quite got it like that, so I'm going to have to lean it down a bit more. Oof. But it's his nose. And in the nose, it's got some really cool things. You can do this. You can just do a line like that inside. And then go round. Oof, it's a bit wet. Can you see it? If it's not that easy, I'll do it here. Basically, 
just like that. Then a line down. And then you just do this. It's like you've got an outline of it almost. Can you see it? So if you do that just on the end where the nose bit is, mine looks a tad messy now, but it's okay because we're going to colour it in. So once you've done that, what's quite nice and what I've done before is I've put all flowers there and roses and birds and everything. But I'm just going to keep it simple for today just so it's a bit easier to sort of look at. And I'm going to use chalk pastel. So I'm going to use my nice chalks. Da -da -da. Love them. They're just the best. Now because a skull, a skull, a skull is white, creamy white, we're not going to use white because the paper's white so it's fine. But what we can do is take a colour. If you haven't got chalk, use any colours you like. It could be pink, it doesn't matter. But I'm going to do a realistic skull just so you can see. So first of all I've got this colour that's like sand. So you could probably make this if you're painting and if it's watercolour. Pick a colour that's maybe brown, like a light brown might be quite cool. And I'm just going around, just going around the edge. Georgia O'Keeffe absolutely loved doing um, even twigs and stones and everything to do with natural forms as well as the landscapes, like I said, of New York and New Mexico really cool landscapes so we're going to do that I'm just trying to think where I put my picture of it because I'm copying it from a reference of one of her work huh. Have a look. Mm. okay so that's kind of cool okay so what we need to do is get a dark brown and the dark brown is going to go at the tips And what might be quite nice is we're going to do just outline there. I wouldn't mind outlining it in brown if I'm honest. You could probably do a grey, but I'm going to do brown because it looks kind of cool. Then what you want to do is maybe shade this in. You could shade the tips in if you like. As I say, if you're using oil pasta or, or uh, paint, it's still the same thing, it's similar. Now, what I might do is outline it in a brown as well. So you've got the lighter colour as well as the brown, which I think would look really cool. Good thing about chalk is you can really blend and make it look amazing. So we're going to get our finger, one little finger, and we're just going to smudge. So we're blending it, we're keeping the horn quite 3D by blending it like this. Pause the video if it's a bit fast and you need to catch up, it's okay. Can you see, it looks kind of cool. Uh, like, subscribe and share if you think this is helpful for you. What I want to do so we're going to get a black. I might get a grey first, so a grey will be kind of cool. Kind of like the idea of just filling those bits in grey. So we're just going to do a little bit of a grey. Ultimately the eyes are black and some of the other stuff's black, but I'm just going to do a little bit of shading around. I quite like that. A bit of shading there. A bit of shading there as well. So we're just going to smudge away. Okay, so we're using the white that we've already got on the paper to make the skull look more like it's a skull. Then black, let's get a nice black. And then we're going to just go around the eyes. Colour all of it in if you can. This could be done in paint if you like, and I like doing that quite dark. So I've already gone over it with grey, but I can go over it with black as well. Now this bit here, 
It's a good time to outline it now. So I'm using my black. Just outline a little bit more. And if you want, you could put some shadow under there. Quite like. I absolutely love using black because it makes things stand out. So feel free to use the black to shade. Don't be scared because I know that some of you find it a bit scary because you end up sort of not being able to rub out and that can be quite a scary concept when it's dark colours. But we can always paint over bits if we make mistakes. I'm going over it with a very, very one finger, very kind of lightly, I'm just drawing over it. It's like my finger's a pen, just to create the softer look. And as I say, you could have a horn that's pink, the skull could be blue, it doesn't have to be this, you know, this organic, so it doesn't have to look natural. Um, you could do whatever you like to create the skull. Um, but if you keep that setup of how it is, it will look pretty cool. I'm just going to smudge that. Okay, guys, so that is the skull. And what's really nice is for Georgia O'Keeffe, she puts flowers, like I said, she puts flowers there and there. So we could literally do a flower. I like the idea of, idea of doing the background. So we could, oh, do you know what? Oh, I've got an itchy nose. I'm going to get a pink. I'm going to just... I like the idea of doing the background. You might want to put the pink first, which is probably not what you've done because you've watched the video in sequence, but if you were to do the pink first, you wouldn't smudge the black that we've put on it, so it might be a bit easier. But let's just have a go. Okay, so I'm going to get my one finger. kind of need to clean it. I'm just going to wipe it on a cloth. I've got a new apron today with my sausage dog apron. How cute is that? So... I'm going to smudge, but I'm going to try not to touch that black because otherwise it gets really messy. And you see, I'm smudging it a bit. It's getting a tad messy, but it kind of looks cool. I do like the idea of putting colourful flowers in there. So if you want to, make sure you can sort of have room to put the flowers. That would look awesome. And that is it, really. I'm happy with that. I would probably work a little bit more on the horn, as in I'd probably put a little bit more in there. I'd quite like to put flowers and stuff, and I like the idea of that being dark. So yeah, have a go at doing your own skull, skull, I can never say it, <laughs> and sign it. Oh, just broke my cast off. Sign your name once you're done. And there we are, there's your Georgia O'Keeffe inspired skull. I'm tempted to do a flower, if I'm honest. Should we just do a little flower there? Just because she has a little flower on her one. And I just like the idea of the skull that's not alive anymore and the flower that's alive. It's a really nice contradiction. Um, it's actually quite, quite a nice idea. So can you see my flowers like super simple? It's not even that. Just doing a little, reminds me of a, Reminds me of a daffodil. Yeah. It's got a bit of shadow in there as well. A little bit of shadow that's blue. There you go. Now, smudge that. Ooh. Then you've got the blue background. So yeah, have a go. Have a go at doing something alive and something that's not alive. So the skull is no longer a living thing. Um, and you've got the flower that's alive. Maybe you can make it stand out a bit more. That looked really cool. Woo! There we go. Have fun, like, subscribe and share and let me know how you get on. I'm really looking forward to see these because I think you could probably do a really, really good, good example of what I've done. Because you could literally create any colours you like with anything you like on here so have fun see you later Mwah! lots of love